After the engineering phase, you can access the system via remote desktop from any PC if you don't have a monitor connected to your open controller, for example because it has been built into a control cabinet or integrated into a machine. The remote desktop interface is disabled on the open controller by default, and your first order of business is enabling it. Let's open the system control of the open controller and select the menu item System, and then the sub-menu item Allow Remote Access. We will have to confirm access with our admin password and can then enable the connection here in this dialog field. Another sub-menu allows us to create various users who will be permitted to use this remote desktop connection. But since we can see here that admin access is approved for remote desktop access by default, we won't create any other users right now and just continue in admin mode. Our remote desktop access to the open controller is now enabled, and we can go back to our local PC to continue. We now start a remote desktop connection, enter the IP address of the open controller, and use the admin user account for access. We now initiate the connection and log on with our admin password. We wait for the connection and acknowledge the security message displayed with OK. The message is displayed that another user is still logged in on the open controller. We continue the login process by clicking Yes, and the user logged in on the open controller will be logged out automatically after 30 seconds. We can now see the desktop of the open controller and have full access to all of its functions. We can, for example, start the display app and have a look at diagnostics messages. When you are done, simply close the remote desktop connection by exiting the app.